Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today we are going to do a Talbot's try-on haul. And for those of you that have been here with me, you are probably shocked because that's not my typical style. I think I've only been in there one time, and I don't think I've ever purchased anything from there, but I do have a good feeling about it. Like, I know that it's quality. I know that they are, you know, like elevated basics, and I know that a lot of women love to shop there. I remember long ago, John and I hung out with another couple, and I remember she is a petite, and she bought like everything from Talbot's, and she sold real estate, and she always looked amazing. She always looked so put together, so nice, on trend, but yet very, very high quality. So I already have like a favorable view of them in my mind. I just didn't think there would be anything in there that would appeal to me because I am not quite so conservative. But I was walking by the window and I saw a denim dress and it caught my eye. I have always loved denim dresses. I think I've had, I mean, I just don't even know how many I've had, but they're my favorite. I think that they are just such a go-to. I think they look good on everyone, and it gives you just so many shoe options. I just love a denim dress. So I went in there, and luckily, I got the best sales lady, and she really helped me, one, find things that were more my style. She helped me as far as showing you guys some of their best sellers. Because when I got in there, I could already tell, you know, I wanna pick out a few things here for my subscribers. So what I did is it's my taste, but in Talbots. So it's going to be my taste, but a little bit more conservative. And I tried on, I didn't try them on that day because I had a bikini underneath my dress that day. But Yesterday, for the B-roll in this film, I tried these jeans on for the first time, and I, it's, it's probably the happiest surprise I've ever gotten trying something on. I cannot believe how well these jeans fit, how good they look, how on trend they are, and the price, because they're not a bad price to begin with, but they are also on sale. So I wanted to go ahead and do this for you so that you can go in there and take advantage of their sale. I think what they're doing is switching over from, like most people, switching over from late summer to early fall. So a few pieces, like I think the dress that I have on, is an early fall piece, but like these jeans are going to be available for, you know, on and on. They're, you know, just basics with them. There are some more trendy, like I saw a really cute pair with a pink stripe, but I wanted to get things that we could wear, you know, just year round. And they are just so good. Brooke was here yesterday, my daughter, and we both just couldn't believe how well they fit and how good they look. I guess I had, I don't know, I had high expectations as far as quality, but I did not have high expectations as far as style. And they look amazing. They really feel like like the AYR jeans. So I am going to try everything on for you as well as yesterday I tried everything on so you can get a couple of different perspectives, but I kind of like to talk to you guys while I'm trying something on so I can just tell you what's on my mind. So I'll be right back with the dress that I have on. Okay, so this dress, you can imagine why I was drawn to. It's, she called it an Audrey Hepburn dress. I think of I just think of Mad Men, Audrey Hepburn, Bridget Bardot, French style, classic. I mean, I just think there are so many good things wrapped up in this dress. This is a small, I believe. I will have all the details down below, but it is, it is pretty fabulous. I love the neckline. I love the sleeves, just nice so you can wear a normal standard bra underneath it. And I, I really, really like it. And I'll show you the shoes that I have on it with it today. Just some good mules. Yesterday, I paired it with my white ones just to give it more of that mod look. I am going to return this because I like it, but not for me. It's a little bit too long for me. I think it hits at a weird place. If I really, really loved it. I could have it maybe taken up some. I think, I just think if it were like this, like a little bit of a tighter fit and a little bit of a higher hemline, it would flatter my body a little bit more because I have a long torso 
and shorter legs. But I think it is fabulous for so many, especially if you are a professional, you work in a like an attorney's office, you work wherever, pharmaceutical company, wherever, and you're in a professional place, but you still want to look stylish. Teachers, this is a church dress. So many ways you could wear this dress. So love it, love it. It does zip up the back. You put it over your head. And I just think it is wonderful. So the next dress I'm gonna show you is the reason I stopped by there in the first place. This is the denim dress. So let me slip this on and I'll be right back. Here we go. Beautiful, love it. This one, I am a little bit on the fence. I like it, I even like it on me. I even liked it when I watched the footage back, but I just don't know if I will wear it but I love it. It fits just beautifully. I love the hemline. I love how it comes up just a little bit. I love the color. I have it on with some little nude, here, nude shoes. And I just think it is a beautiful dress. It is just not my everyday style. It's just a little bit more conservative and I just, I don't know. I'm on the fence. So you guys will have to let me know down below what you think about this, but I think it is beautiful. It was definitely worth getting and trying. I told her that, you know, I was gonna take everything home and try it on. And she said I had, oh my gosh, I think it was like, it was over a month to bring it back. But the only thing I don't really like, I'm not crazy about the silver buttons. And I don't know, I don't know, what do you think? I really like it. I just don't know if I like it for me. I think it might just be out of my, not even my comfort zone, but it just might not be something that I go to. Usually I like a soft, more fitted look. To me, this is just a little bit more uptight. But like I said, let me know down below. And now we are gonna to get to the good part. Let me go ahead and show you. The first jean that we'll, we will try on is the stovepipe jean. High waist, straight leg, crop length, and I got these in a size two. I'm telling you, every pair of jeans I am getting ready to try on, you guys are going to love. So I'll be right back with these. Okay, I'm telling you guys, when you put these jeans on, you feel like, ah, oh, I mean, I don't know, I have never felt like this about jeans. They have never felt as good except for the AYR jeans. And this is a AYR, tell me if it's AYR or AIR down below. This is one of their tees that you will see in an upcoming video. Yesterday I tried everything on with white. I thought today I would try things on with black. So let me put, I'm just gonna put my, I'm gonna put my clear Zara shoes on with all of them. That way you can kind of just see the length and the fit. Okay. So the stove pipe, I believe, are just like a straight down and they're fabulous. These are the jeans that you can wear with your ankle boots, your tall boots, your heels. I love jeans that really showcase your heels and what you're wearing. They would look, this would look good with like a little blazer, like a half blazer. I mean, there is nothing that you couldn't wear with these jeans. And I know you guys are not crazy about, some of you are, some of you aren't, about the rips and everything. So none of these have rips. They are just, Amazing. I wore them all day yesterday. I think I wore one pair for the first half of the day and another pair for the rest. Just taking pictures and I was just amazed at these jeans. You have to try them. You have to try them. If you don't like them, you can send them back or take them back. I don't know which ones are my favorite. I do know these come up, I think, a little bit higher. Let me see. What does it say again? Yeah, this is the high waist. The next pair are the modern ankle jean. 
high waist, straight leg, ankle length. The good thing about these is they are the raw hem. So if you are petite or if you're like me, but not petite, and you have shorter legs, then you can just cut some off and then rough them up if you want to. So let me try these on for you. Okay, so these are also high waist. Let me put my, and these have the raw hem. These are just your basic straight jeans I don't think that they are as wide as the others, but I think they are just going to be very, very versatile. Great pockets. Just stretch, soft, but not like a jegging. They're just wonderful. Let me see, let you see the color. Just, I mean, perfection. Just perfection. This pair, these must be the ones I wore out yesterday because I've already taken the tag off. Okay, the, the previous, this pair and the ones that I just showed you are twos. This one is a four, so keep that in mind. This is the straight leg crop jean. And these are the darker wash, which I know a lot of you like the dark wash. And I'm gonna put these on and I will be right back. Okay, the straight leg crop jean sits at waist, so they're not high waist, straight leg crop length. And like I said, I got a four. I remember these are lower, which I like. I don't know why I like the lower ones. They're not that low though. They're just like my belly buttons right here. Oh, they're so soft, you guys. I'm gonna read the um, what they're made of in a minute because I remember it is not all cotton. I mean, I just, every pair, I just love them. I see many Talbot jeans in my future. These are the kind of jeans you just feel like wearing all day. Like you don't, I, I worked in them all day yesterday. I did not even have to take them off when I got home. And there's the back pockets, which I think are good. Ask me my favorite, I don't know if I could tell you. I just think that they're all so versatile and I think you guys would love them. I, nothing makes me more excited than finding something that I love that I really think most of you will love too. I mean, it's one thing when I get something, but it usually it'll have like, you know, slits on the sides or holes everywhere or something like that that I know most of you aren't going to like. But these, I think, any age, any body size, they have plus sizes, they have petite sizes, and the price is right. So I'm really excited about this. Okay, I'm going to wear the modern ankle jean today, but I wanted to tell you what they are made of. These are the ones I wore yesterday that I just had on. And so these are 89% cotton, 9% polyester, and 2% spandex. So they're probably not going to shrink a lot. They'll probably just shrink, you know, that good part where they just kind of get their shape. Let's see. These are the stovepipe, straight leg crop length. And let's see what they're made of. They might feel a little bit more genie. Let me see. These, no, these are 70% cotton, 29 polyester, 1% spandex. And then I'm sure, certain that the ones I have on are probably like that too. So that is why they feel so good. And that's probably why they're probably going to look good for a long time too, because they're probably not going to fade or shrink. So I hope you guys love those like I do. I hope that you love one of the dresses and maybe I can help you out there. For accessories, I have on my Dean Davidson ring with the matching earrings that my hair is caught in from changing clothes. And my nail polish is OPI Cajun Shrimp. And I don't have on a fragrance yet today. I've got some Zara fragrances that I want to share with you guys. This one is Pink Flambe from the summer collection. So let's just check it out. 
Wow. That was different than I thought. It's more of a zesty, a zesty scent. I'm not sure of the notes. I got this a while ago, but we shall see. I'll let you know down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know which pair of jeans were your favorite. Let me know if you have tried things from Talbot's and if you want me to keep, you know, looking in there and finding things. And I did also go down the sidewalk and go to Gap and got some really good things from Gap too. So if this isn't quite edgy enough for you, then stay tuned for Gap. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.